We what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. I'm finally gonna get to this. I've been sitting on it, waiting for it. Not sitting on it. That would be uncomfortable, but I have been waiting to bring this to you. There is a story some of you already know about this knife, and I will tell everybody. So this is the Leviathan, and how do you pronounce this name is um damn cats are going mental. All right, let's see. It's Mavrok. Oh, is it, am I reading that right? Mavrokniv. That's what it is. Mavrokniv. So I'll give you a good shot at that. M A V R O K N I V. And it is blurry as hell. So, anyway, it's the. Mavro Kniv. Um, and this is the Leviathan. It's D2 steel, aluminum handles. Um, let's go over some of these little tiny written things on the back. We have um, heavily grooved aluminum handle scales, which it is. I have to say I, that was one of the things that caught my eye. Um, you have a three and three quarter inch D2 steel um, reverse Tonto blade, uh, polished blue stainless steel pocket clip, ball bearing opening mechanism and it measures four and a half inches closed that's pretty much all the information we need um so here's the deal i make it no secret that i hate broken sword designs i hate when it's one line two line three line i hate that i hate, just don't like it but if you're gonna add a little flare into it and try to make it cooler looking then it might catch my eye this one is ugly as sin, but at the same time, it's cool as hell. I think closed, it looks way better. I like the blue accents on the on the just straight up aluminum color. I love that this and this are almost even. I mean, really close. It makes it look like, bam, that line is all one piece. I think design-wise... For this style of knife, take away all the holes and everything, but design-wise, they did a really good job putting this together to make everything fluid. And that's exactly what it is. This is a very fluid, uh, uh, fluidity design knife. Um, everything goes together. Uh, and that's what caught my eye. Had nothing to do with anything else. It's just how the knife ran from this point to this point. How the lines met. Normally, when you have this kind of thing right here, it means in a full grip, you're missing something, right? And this one, you still have that. Like, there's nothing from right here in my hand touching to right here because it goes down, right? That part's a, a bad design um, area. But they offer so much crazy grip in here that it almost goes unnoticed. And if I choke down on my full grip um, away from that and my pinky is still on it doing that, um, now I have full contact everywhere in the knife. Imagine that. So the reason you choke down, people would say, well, why would you choke down anyway? Boom, you see that? It's made to be held this way. That means all your fingers are made to be on this area. You notice how this is flat? It's not made to be held up here like a regular knife. It's designed to be held back here. And so once I was looking at the photos before I bought it, and I realized that, I said, it's not made to be held like a real knife. This is how you hold a knife, right? This is how you hold this knife, way down here. Boom. And it's absolutely wonderful in the hand when you hold it the way it's designed to be held. Um, so what does that do? Because it's a reverse Tonto with that nice semi-flat, it's not very flat, it still has some little curve, they gave it a little bit of body. Um, it means you are, it's just made for like peel things away type cutting, right? Can you use it for like your box openings and all that? Absolutely, I already did. Um, but it's literally made to cut this way. Boop, 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 boop. Um, and the, the grip really, really offers that. Um, I thought I, I thought that was pretty good. I love the fact that they stopped all this stuff to tell you. It's like, 
color by numbers. They tell you where to put your hand. And I know a lot of people don't like a knife that you know, I, I like to hold it my own way. But it makes it really, really good. And the fact that, especially if you're a right-handed person, and your hands are going to be smaller than mine most likely, to put your fingers on that and then your thumb up there, it's just super comfortable. Um, the, um, the little slotted holes, I don't know, it kind of looks like Battlestar Galactica or something. I don't know. It, it just has this like cheap space movie feel to it. And normally I would hate that. I liked it. And this isn't something that somebody sent me. This is something I bought. This is my own money, bought from the channel money, um, to go and pick out a knife. So of all the things I could have spent that money on, I chose this purposely. Something about it called to me. So let's, uh, let's take it outside. All right, so one thing I can tell you is the flipper needs to be broken in. Um, at first flip, it was like, it was real soft and slow. Does it open? Pops right open. Easy, no problem. But in order to get that crisp snap, you really have to tug at it. <laughs> um, you really have to tug at it to um, to get it moving. You can see that stone wash right there. That kind of, that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. You gotta say, it's not that bad. I, I do like the blue accents. Now these are, I don't know, they're anodized or painted or what. So over time, I might lose some blue. Um, and if I end up with a straight up just titanium looking aluminum color type thing. I won't be mad about that. It's pretty cool looking. Um, but the, the looks, the looks in this knife are good. How strong is it? I have no idea. I've, I've never dealt with anything from the, um, this company. I never bought any of their stuff, but we're going to figure it out. Let's see. It is windy out here, man. So how sharp is it? It is shave yourself down like a gorilla sharp it is shave sharp so that's one good thing it does come with a good edge let's see we're almost out of this a half inch nylon rope i gotta pull over some more um half inch nylon rope we're gonna try just a straight up push cut no sawing action going roscoe hey 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 and there we go so it did push cut gave it a little bit of tweak but that's okay i have been using this knife a little so it's not out of the box sharp which i like to do but it's really cool now i wonder it does have a little bit of heft toward the front we're gonna see if we can get through this uh extension cord here i doubt it because while it has heft it only has heft from here to here like you could feel the swing weight in the last inch Ugh. It's, it's doing pretty good. I mean, that's going all the way through. So it does have enough heft to do that, which means I know that when I take some kind of some kind of stick, and if I want to make a tip, I'm going to have the ability to choke down and and chop away material to make this part of it easier. Um, I have to say that even for an all aluminum grip, this I can really feel. I can really feel that. Let's do some some downward four footers, some gravity drops, see how the bite goes. It is a reverse tanto, so I shouldn't be uh, asking for much on that. And you can see anything a little too forward and it's gonna carry over, but that's not what you're using it for. A couple hard downward throws. We'll check how the liner lock is holding out. Ooh, man. See if anything loosens. Man, that's pretty solid right there. That's pretty solid. That went in nice and deep for a reverse Tonto. Let's see, I got some of this fuel line. Let us see. So I want to hold it the way you're supposed to hold it. And let's see. Let's see. It's all folding on me, but I'm trying to make a nice cut. And look at that. Where did it go? It's right there. It's still attached. I went looking for it still attached so here we go and there we go it's cutting the hose no problem it just sucks because it's flimsy so i'm not having anything if i put it here and cut it cuts right off so you can see the edge is definitely definitely good let's get a nice small piece break that off of there 
and we will see how really sharp it is because with a tiny little piece of rubber that's moving, um, if your knife is not sharp, what's gonna happen is it's gonna fold over and you're gonna probably cut yourself. So I'm going really, really close to my thumb right there. And I wanna see if I can cut it without it folding over. Perfect. Perfect. Not so bad. I think these things, uh, I believe, I can't remember what I paid for, like 48 bucks or something like that. I, I, I think it was sub 50. Um, I, I do believe, I do believe. I'm not 100% sure on the price, I can't remember. I actually found this thing on Bud K and then I got it off eBay because I hate supporting Bud K. They rip you off so many ways. They uh, manipulate photos to make you think you're getting one thing and then you get something that's completely cheap. So I don't really, really like supporting Bud K. But that is, I'm not gonna lie, where I saw it. So if you can't find it anywhere else, um, that's where I saw it. So let's come over to this stump. That's not doing good in life anymore. And let's dig that in there and let's play. Yeah, this thing, um, this thing is gonna be like a good user as far as EDC. This would be a great work knife. This would be a great, like, take it to work. Um, you work in a, in a Home Depot or a, a Walmart-type setting where you constantly have to rip things open and you need to have some kind of knife, something sharp. Um, this thing would be good for that. This wood is literally breaking in my hand, but it's it doesn't change the fact that the knife is doing what the knife is supposed to do. Now, holding it in its proper grip, I want to just do calculated cuts <laughs> if if the stick would work so let's see so by using the thumbs you can see that in its proper grip the way it's supposed to be held this thing's fantastic this is a, this is a nice like it'd be a good whittler this would be a good whittling knife um not so bad can we bang on it let's find out let's find out i think i got a sneeze <laughs> I almost, all right i almost killed me there all right so here we go well it hasn't folded yet so that's a good sign man some of this wood is really really dry uh oh uh oh i broke off a piece oh it's stuck in though there we go so all right, so far I'm able to bang on it a little bit. Let's do it uh, uh, cross grain. So I can really hammer on it. No problem. So I have no wiggling, no wobbling, no loosening. Still shuts, still opens. Let's make sure it's still straight. It is still dead nut even. So for a, a Bud K find, all right, I'm down. This thing's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I went from spending my money on it and thinking, oh man, this could be a waste of money, to, all right, I like this knife. This is actually going in my pocket today. This is going to be my carry for the day. Um, and who knows, it'll probably be there tomorrow. Uh, this so far, I like. I have no reason not to. Um, it kind of has that that hog nose look, I like to say. Um it's pretty brutal looking. Looks like some kind of dinosaur that, you know, kills you by banging you with his head. Um, okay, so the Leviathan. This thing's a winner. This thing's a winner. D2. I love D2. That works for me. All right, so so found one at Bud K that I actually that I actually like that actually works. The Mororo Kniff um, Leviathan. Pretty sweet. All right, I'm done with this one. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All day. Till next knife.